I thought, my God, it should not happen like this, especially in America. We, in many countries, have the idea that America is a very rich country, very secure for everyone, but it isn't always like that. When it comes to recession time, they call it, or something like that, people just lose jobs and and they don't have enough money even to, to take care of any other things except for themselves. And the whole family sometimes moves to some charitable uh, shelter or something. And once you lost a job, once you lost your house, you have no address. You cannot go find a job if you don't have a, a mail-in address. One thing leads to another. Many educated people High-paid persons before succumb to this kind of, of situation and they end up becoming homeless or staying in some shelter temporarily. And nowadays, uh, some, mm, some organizations, they, they lend the addresses <laughs> to give the homeless people a kind of stable place so that they can apply for jobs. When you go to interview, uh, the company, the how say staff manager that interviews you, he doesn't immediately say, "Hey, we hire you now or tomorrow. We call you." Yeah. So you need a phone, uh, and or we will mail you, yeah, etc., etc. Or or they will ask more questions, and then you have to write to them, and then they will answer you through whatever address. If you don't have address, that means you are nobody in the society anymore, no matter what. And then that's the situation. Everything is sometimes so sad in this world, you know, so sad. So yesterday, I saw a, a little moth, you know, very little one, and she died because of too much wind one time, and then she just died on the floor. And I thought she was still alive. I was trying to get the glass and the paper to scoop her in, but she didn't move. So I put her on the tree, and she didn't move again. So I said, oh, my, you're dead, huh? So sorry about that. Your life is so short, and then you had to die just like that already. I felt it was so unfair. For this month, you know, I felt so sorry for her. It just touched me somehow in my heart that everything in this world is so cruel, so unkind, you know. So the little helpless and harmless and fragile little moth like that, she couldn't even enjoy her short life in peace. And that's not to talk about if some other animals don't eat her before even, yeah. And then sometimes uh, if we cook something or eat something, the insects come and then you have to remove them yeah, outside. And I also feel very bad. <laughs> I feel, oh my God, even just to eat something, you have to fight with other beings, you know? Not to talk about many insects die or get injured during the farming yeah, season or off-season, on-season, after, before season. Ah, yeah. If we don't think about it, we can survive. If we do, we don't want to live anymore. Such a, such a hassle to keep this body going, yeah? Even simple already, not, not like very uh, luxurious or anything, yeah. Oh. So every day you have to pray and thank all beings for the meal you eat. Thank God, of course, above all, and thank all involved in the meal you eat. Thank the farmers who toil, you know, rain and shine to take care of the vegetables or the food that comes onto your table. Thank the, you know, other people, the transport company, the drivers, yeah, the ones who harvested it, the ones who wash it, 
make it ready and put it in a nice container or bag for you to take home. Yeah. Everything in this world, we own someone. We use anything at all, we own everyone. Even tiny bees, insects, they're doing their job so that we just stretch it out. Yeah, just, yeah, and that side, yeah, yeah, that's east side. <laughs> South side, north side, who cares? Yeah, do it, yeah. You, you don't have a chair? Are you leaning on the chair? Yes? No, no. no you don't have? Just a cushion. You should have a little chair. Anybody have a chair? Can somebody go get me a chair for him, please? He's not talking. I am talking. Can somebody go out and get me a chair from the shop, please? Chair for him? Huh? I have a chair. Uh, never mind. Never mind. You sit because when you go out now, you miss me. <laughs> I think. Thank you, Master. <laughs> I'm not sure, but no. Oh, okay, okay, that one. Yeah, it's more comfy. You are a driver, aren't you? Not, not, okay. That's oh, so fine, fine. And look at that, how much love is going on. Thank you, Master. Be careful, yeah? Okay. Thank you, Master. That's good. All right, enough already. How, how many chairs are for him also good? Anybody else who needs chair? <laughs> <laughs> we empty the shop outside for you. <laughs> yes. It, you drive, right? Yes. Yeah, so you drive all day, sit all day already. Now come here, have to sit again. Ah, oh, so sorry. C'est la vie, you know, it's not fair anything. I told you already, just before. <laughs> Nothing is fair in this world, huh? Okay. Huh? And don't think he eats a lot so he grows so big. No, not necessarily. It's a thyroid gland sometimes. Yeah, when it functions slow, then people get chubby. Yeah. All the too much fat they put in their hamburger, you know, even vegan burgers. Because they like it. <laughs> and some people just get fat without any reason. And some people eat so much, I'm telling you, and it's like a toothpick. It's true, right? You know, right? Huh? Yes. So don't criticize anybody. It's just the way it is. Karma. <laughs> Happy Buddha. Happy Buddha, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you look like Matreya. <laughs> You need a little bit bigger, though, to compare with him. That's a, just a disciple size. <laughs> He's like this. The, the, the stomach, uh, you know, protruding out. <laughs> so we created so many different karma, you know, like that. And even nowadays, um, after initiation, still have. You know, each one has different karma. And you must meditate well in order to minimize a little bit, okay? So Master can help you. Because if Master gives you too much power, you also cannot bear. If you clean the karma too quickly, you will have problems or you will die. Huh? Yeah. Uh, different people create different karma. You know, I have people who help me, but they create different karma also. Or the people who come here with pure intentions to meditate and to see the Master and to, you know, elevate themselves. But they also bring different karma, you know. Like like a few days ago, I suddenly had such a terrible pain. So I <laughs> I uh, checked and I knew who was coming, and there were two people who were very sick, two Vietnamese people. I don't want to say who, okay? Never mind, you know, okay? Uh, if you are very sick, you should not come here. Not come here with the intention of wanting Master to cure you. There are medicines, okay? There are doctors, hmm? We should not always uh, rely on Master for everything. My body is also very fragile, like yours, okay? Maybe even more fragile sometimes. Uh, I don't look it, but, <laughs> you know, the body is a body, you understand? And I work so hard, sometimes I really abuse this vehicle. <laughs> Just like if you drive your, your car and you don't really take care of it all the time, you don't change the oil, you don't have time, Oh, you you give a cheap uh, <laughs> a cheap uh, gasoline, uh, make him run, uh, poor car, you know, etc., etc., and you forget to pump in the air, <laughs> or you don't have time, yeah. If you're very busy, and the car is also, you know, feeling <laughs> its age, 
Yeah. Or when the car is older, it doesn't go as fast as before, or you shouldn't go as fast as before. And many uh, parts of the car have to be constantly maintained or changed. Yeah, yeah, the body is the same. But we neglect our body too badly, you know, I myself, truly. But I truly sometimes have no choice with the inside work pressing and the outside work pressing. And the dogs, they don't understand anything about my job, about my inside, outside. They say, they know you work day and night for the work. Yeah, they told me that, but they don't care. Oh, it's come see, see, sassy, one pet, one hugs, <laughs> uh, one snacks, and uh, wants to stick around, don't want to go to their room. They fought tooth and nail with my new assistant just to stay behind. They don't want to go out of the gate. They fight with them, you know. <laughs> oh, really? So terrible. I feel so sorry for the new assistant. They harass them no end. I say, go now! And then, okay, 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 I'm going. <laughs> and then looking back, I'm really going? I say, you going? <laughs> oh, they play their game, you know, dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell you. And then escape and all that stuff, you know. Only the mother, she is the wild one, because she was born in the wild and lived in the wild before she saw me. Before, nobody could ever touch her. Nobody could go near her, even. Only after I got her babies. Then she came knocking at my door. And a couple of, so a week or ten days, I, I already could carry her on my shoulder, <laughs> walking around, you know, showing off to the neighbors. I got her, she got her. <laughs> because she, she became like a puppy, you know. She's also one puppy. Tough life, you know. She was so young and got pregnant because of wild dogs, you know. And she became also like one of the puppies. She's the most sissy, sassy of all. I said, what? You're a mom, you know that? This is your baby stuff, not yours. Well, she doesn't care. She doesn't really realize that uh, she's older than the baby. I uh, just one, one year plus older. It doesn't make any difference to her. Yeah. Afterwards, she behaved just like a puppy, just because she was so used to living in the open. So now and then she tried to escape, and she's so good at escaping. Before, she could jump, you know. There are fans like that, you know, the kind of fans. She put her paws on it, climbs them up, 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 Two seconds, she's out. No, not even two seconds, in one second. She's so fast, so fast. That's why I could never catch her before. I didn't want her to go out, not because I'm controlling, but I don't want her to go out eating garbage and then bring back, you know, bad germs and something for the little babies before I scolded her a lot. But she tried, and then she opened windows, and she bit the whole wall to try to get out. She bit the whole wall down, you know. I don't know how she didn't die, because these are uh, painted. Even if you breathe in, um, you taste a little bit, you know, you would feel some effect, no, nothing. This girl, she's invisible. <laughs> <laughs> the whole body was all white, the nose, the, all the hairs are all white, and the ear hairs are all white. What? The tongue white too? Nothing happened to her. I was very sick, but she, nothing happened. The moment I'm not careful, she runs. <laughs> if I open the door, she runs under our legs and out in, not in 60 seconds, you know, not even six seconds. A six nanoseconds. She's so fast, so fast, because she's so skinny before. Now she's still more chubby, but still skinny, so I escape so quick. She climbs so fast and she jumps out. And sometimes she sees some tree nearby, you know, and she uses the tree. Yeah. Climbs up the tree and then near the fence and she up, comes out like that. Oh my God, this girl, incredible. And she uses magic to break the, 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 even the iron chain just to get out before and because she she likes to oh, climb maybe maybe she was a cat no she, she's like a cat a but she climbs so fast she is used to the wildlife you know she's street smart so smart before when we were in thailand we fence everywhere but we could never catch her i hire everybody <laughs> hire everybody and then one time luckily we use a big 
like uh, these, uh, the big uh, basket that you use for, for leaves in the garden. And then one Korean guy looked like he, I have affinity with her. He came in, you know, he came in and just caught her like that. But uh, two days later, she's was gone it? again. <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. I don't, know, I don't talk about her. And last night, oh, I was so tired looking for her. Everybody was looking. And to everybody else, I say, oh, you go home and sleep. I, I wait for her. She will come back. I just don't know when. So she'll come back. They, they always come back. <laughs>